All right, welcome back to Lost in the Curve. This week's project is a John Bellamy Eagle, at least my interpretation of a John Bellamy Eagle. If you're interested in finding out more about him, which I encourage, I have a couple of starting points down in the description. But let's get right to the step by step. Okay, so step one is find you an image. I used a Google image search and found one of the John Bellamy Eagles and I just freehanded it onto a quarter inch grid notebook paper. And these quarter inch grids will end up being one inch on the board. So I tried to follow the lines of the grid as, as much as possible, at least on the on the width and the height. And this ended up being, it's going to be on the board, eight inches by 24 inches. So, and one thing I am going to do is this, uh, John Bellamy always had his heads sitting proud, head and part of the body. And he, his were probably four or five inches in relief. I'm just going to do one more board on top of the wings and uh, see how that looks. Hope it comes out okay. So, that's step one. Stay tuned. Okay, just an update on the getting this head transferred. What I've done is just did a little bit of redesigning on the head, kind of scaled it back from this exaggerated form. And be cutting this out and placing it on top. Left myself enough room here for this uh, extra length and should work out okay. Drilled a couple of uh, access holes for the jigsaw in case I need to back up and escape and start somewhere else and make a couple more. freed and I'm going to work on the ends of the wing here. Okay, you can see it taking shape. Got nearly all of this main, the main body of it cut out. Uh, here's my extra room for the head. I uh, need to cut that thing out but I uh, got the banner and it's just a matter of taking your time and coming into these cuts backing up making another cut for these feathers and uh, so that's it for now a little more work to do right there and May save that for later, <laughs> but uh, you can see I'm getting down to the to the main main meat of the head there. Helps to knock <clears throat> helps to knock back these edges with a little sandpaper or a rasp just to keep them from these beginning splinters to keep them keep them from growing. All right. Well, I've decided to keep these edges relatively straight. I knocked off the sharp edge with some sandpaper, 100 grit, and uh, here's kind of what it's looking like. And just a matter of, I believe my next step will be getting in here with the Dremel tool. If I can find the right attachments and do some detail work around the feathers and the, the eyes and the beak and all that good stuff. So, Next shot will be Dremel action.
Just a quick tip, a folded up piece of sandpaper is great for getting into these little crevices. Time to glue up the head. All right, well I got the head glued on and uh, working on the getting the painting surface on. What I have right now is a, just a white primer, uh, diluted it with water. It's about a half and half mix. And of course it makes it go on real easy. And kind of going for a, a antique barn find look. And, and also this leaves the details very, very clear. So I'll be able to come in here with a, maybe a little bit of dark stain and then some red, white, and blue highlights. Okay, the primer dried. I came back and hit it with some 100 and then 150 grit sandpaper. I've applied some acrylic paint to the, the bottom banner here, hanging off the eagle's feet and then the top banner. Just outlined it with a little bit of color. Just simply acrylic paint that you can buy in the little, little tubes. What I'll do next is I need to think of something to put up here in the banner some little uh, saying and then I will sand that down probably with some 220. All right well I decided on uh, Liberty as the word to put in the banner here. Turned out semi okay I think just freehanded it and uh, put in some blocked it in with blue and then did a little red highlight on the on the right hand side of the letters. It's turning out okay. I've come back with some 220 grit sandpaper and went over the freshly painted bits just to give it that weathered look. And then okay, poured some mineral spirits in this cap of an old something and uh, dripped in a little bit of dark stain. This is Jacobian or Jacobean or Jacobian, whatever you want to say. And uh, I've already done this wing. What it's doing is giving it kind of a gray, grayish tint. So it's about, I'd say, a, a tablespoon of thinner, and then about half as much of the stain. All right, well here's the end result of the Bellamy Eagle project. I think it turned out okay. My last steps were Coming in here with some 220 grit sandpaper and it's giving it a final sanding. And then I came back with some uh, colored pencils, colored in these the lettering and some of these other colored areas just to give it a little bit more pop. And the overall finish turned out to be kind of a gray weathered look, which is what I was going for. Hope you guys have enjoyed the project. It didn't take a whole lot of tools, didn't take a whole lot of time. The most time was spent waiting for a uh, the primer to dry and wait for the stain to dry. So it can, it goes pretty fast. It could be done over the weekend for sure. And hope this guy, hope this uh, inspires you guys to uh, make something similar. It's, uh, it's fun and it's, I think it's worthy of being hung up on a wall inside of the house. And uh, a lot of these Bellamy Eagles were hung outside, so you can do that as well. And that's it for this time. Appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to comment. Subscribe, share it, give me a thumbs up if you like it, and we'll see you next time. Appreciate it.